In this video, I'm talking about turning people, I'm talking about progressing onto the next move. This is like a very like wrestler topic, really like technical. And I don't expect everyone to like this, but I feel like this is a video I have to make, especially after today at practice. And speaking of practice, you guys see I gotta get stitches later because someone need me in the draw. But um, I have things going in the works. I'm trying to get people for music. I'm trying to get a new camera. I'm trying to get a gimbal. I'm trying to bring you guys new content. I am working with a club that I coach to like, they, they're gonna let me um, film, edit and post uh, videos of the kids that I coach wrestling and like practicing and like them at tournaments and it's gonna be really cool. I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be dope. I got new content coming soon. I'm trying to get a gimbal, I have a drone, I have, I'm trying to get a new camera. I'm gonna have a mat to like explain things on. Like I'm gonna go through like conditioning and stuff and it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be like, I'm trying to get people for music. I'm trying to get like people to compose music for me or like at least give me a plug or something. Some like uh, SoundCloud rappers or something. Oh, and if you guys like my content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know how you guys feel about my, like the possibility of me doing vlo like wrestling team vlogs. You know what I mean? And like there will be kids on the wrestling team and like if they want to be in the video, I'll put them in the video and like, you know what I mean? I'll plug their stuff. Yeah, so if you guys like my content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think about that new content. But jumping right into this, okay? First things first, in turning your opponent, progressing on to the next thing, right? When I say turning, I mean just getting closer to pinning them, right? Going from one position to the next. All right, I don't have like 36 tips. I just got like a bunch of tips and I'm gonna start rambling and you guys need to listen because this is very important and this took me a long time to figure out and I had to wrestle with really good people over and over again and get the shit kicked out of me to understand this. The way you progress into like the next position of control, right, from neutral to like, in a, uh, to like on their butt and like you get the takedown to breaking them down flat to controlling something and then turning them onto their back, right? Each time you need to roughly, like I think this is like a pretty good rule. I came up with this. This is like, no one told me this, but you need to control something and then bring them over the thing you control, okay? You know what I mean? If they're standing and you wanna get a single leg, all right, you need to, the, the whole setup shot, everything, is so that you can control with that single leg with your head on the inside, right? It's so like, the whole reason why you're taking the shot is so that you can have control of his leg, right? So if my leg's in the air and he's controlling my leg, all right, where where do you guys think he should take me, okay? Because there's an answer that I get from high schoolers that I ask in real life and that, that I witness wrestling in tournaments and then there's then there's the right answer, right? If you are controlling a leg like this, okay, if you're controlling a leg, you should never try to push him over this shoulder, over this shoulder, or over this leg, all right? You shouldn't try to trip this leg, you shouldn't try, unless like you're actually trying to do something with this leg and it doesn't work, then you switch to something else. But when you have control of this leg, you are trying to bring him to this hip. Or your wrestler, you're trying to bring him to this side, right? Because he has nothing to post out on, the, on this side, right? This leg can only like hop so far over, right? Before I fall this way. I can only keep my balance so much with this leg for this side, you know what I mean? I have two feet so that I can like lean wherever. But if I'm on one foot, if I'm on one foot, then if I lean too far this way, then I'm gonna fall. You understand what I'm saying? And it's because he's controlling my leg. Like, that's the whole reason for the single leg. If you get a high crotch, then you take him to the high crotch side, right? You lift him and dump him to the high crotch side. Or you hit a crackdown to the high crotch side. Like, you control it and then you bring him to that side. Don't think about, like, anything else. Just think about what you're controlling and how you can manipulate it to get the takedown. Another example is when like when someone's down flat so you've already taken someone down and you want to break them down flat so that you can turn them so that you can pin them on their back all right or you want to gain some points what you need to do is control a side and take them to that side so if you have a two on one and you have good pressure with your hips and you stay on top of them you can hit a tilt you can bring them over that arm and you can load his hips onto your hips and you can hit a tilt but that only works because you're controlling this arm you're controlling his hip, you push his knee out from under him, right? You control the knee, you take his base out, 
and you get the tilt, all right? The same thing happens when you're trying to pin someone. If you just control one side, it doesn't really matter. It can be an arm bar, it can be a half, it can be a two on one, it can be whatever you want. As long as an arm or leg is like out of their control, right? When you put a leg in, you're controlling a single leg. Understand that. When you control something, you can put them over that side, right? So when you have a half, you're controlling their head, their shoulder, and their whole side. So that means that like a half is used so that you can push like so that they can so you can turn their shoulders over this way right you can't control you the thing about turning someone with their shoulders is you can't turn them to the side you can't just control one side you need to control both sides to turn them over right that's why you have to get a half and a wrist or a half and an arm bar or two arm bars or a half and like a claw or a half and like a cobra tail you know what I'm saying? You need to like, you just need to focus on controlling both sides and then putting him over the side you control. Does that make sense? Like using your hips, using your chest, your leverage so that you can push him up and over the side you're controlling. All right, I see too much of these kids trying these random moves and they're not really controlling anything. They're not controlling the hips. Like if you're trying to break someone down flat, you have to have control of their hips, right? If you're trying to turn them from their base to like a, to down flat, you have to bring them over something, right? You have to either control an arm, you have to control a leg, and bring them down like off their base, and you have to control their hips, all right? Because their hips are what keeps them up. Their hips is what keeps their base up, right? If their hip hits the mat, then they're off their base. Just remember these things, remember like what makes a good wrestler and what makes a bad wrestler. A good wrestler is someone who moves with purpose, moves with strength, moves with speed, right? And that means that like before they do something, before they make contact, they are thinking about what they're about to do. It doesn't take long. It, you just have to pick something and do it. It can be like in, it, it can take half a second, right? You just have to be like, all right, I'm gonna do this. You don't have to like even say it to yourself in your head. You just have to like understand that you're gonna do it like subconsciously, you know what I mean? You just have to do it. That. Every time you set up, every time you do anything, you have to commit fully, all right? You have to commit fully. Good wrestlers stay in a good stance. They keep their back straight, their hands out in front of them, and they're mean, okay? I hope that was good. I hope I did a good job on giving you guys tips about turning people. If you guys liked that video, then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know any other video suggestions I should do. Let me know if you guys like that idea about me doing the vlogs of the wrestling team. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.